How can I dilate this triangle without a graph? In this lesson, you will learn how to graph an image after a dilation by using coordinates. Let's review some old vocabulary. Scale factor is the multiplier used when reducing or enlarging a figure. A scale factor that is greater than 1 enlarges the figure. A scale factor between 0 and 1 reduces the size of the figure. For example, a scale factor of 2 doubles the dimensions of the image, while a scale factor of 1 half cuts its dimensions in half. Sides of dilated figures are proportional. With a scale factor of 2, you can find the length of the sides for the image by multiplying the side lengths of the pre-image by 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6. Let's take a look at a dilation, a graph of a dilation with a scale factor of 2. We'll place the triangle on the origin. And then what we're going to do is multiply each coordinate by 2. So if I look at A, 0 times 2, well 0 times anything is 0, so A prime will be the same as A. Looking at the B coordinate, we see it's 2, 0. So 2 times 2 will give me 4, and 2 times 0 gives me 0. Looking at C, we see that it is at 0, 2. Once again, 2 times 0 is going to be 0, but 2 times 2 is going to be 4. We can see that this image is the same shape, but a different size than the pre-image. So we can say it is similar to, but not congruent to its pre-image. We're going to look at another one, and this time we're not going to look use the graph. We'll use it when we're done. So if we look at A, it's negative 2, negative 2. It's a scale factor of 2, so we have to multiply each coordinate by 2. A prime will be negative 4, negative 4. B is 0, negative 2, so B prime will be 0, negative 4, multiplying both x and y by 2. C is negative 2, 0. C prime will be negative 4, 0. Let's take a look at this in the, on the graph. We plot each point. A is negative 4, negative 4. B prime is 0, negative 4. And C prime is negative 4, 0. We can see the image is the same shape, but a different size than the pre-image. So we can say it is similar to but not congruent to its pre-image. Let's look at another example, and this time with a scale factor of 3. We're going to need to multiply each of these points by 3. A is negative 1, negative 1. Multiplying negative 1 by 3, I get negative 3. And negative 1 by 3, I get negative 3. B is 1, negative 1. Multiplying both by 3, B prime is 3, negative 3. C is negative 1, 1. Again, multiplying both by 3, C prime is negative 3, 3. Going to take a look at the image on the graph. So we'll plot the points. A prime is negative 3, negative 3. B prime is 3, negative 3. C prime is negative 3, 3. Once again, we can see the image is the same shape but a different size than the pre-image. So we can say it is similar to, but not congruent to, the pre-image. Let's take a look at an image that is reduced rather than enlarged. Remember, if we reduce the size, the scale factor must be less than 1. So we'll make the scale factor 1 half. A is at negative 4, negative 4. A prime is half that. Dividing by 2, we get negative 2, negative 2. B is at 2, negative 4. 1 half that is 1, negative 2. C is at negative 4, 2. 1 half will put C prime at negative 2, 1. Again, putting it on the graph, A prime is negative 2, negative 2. B prime is 1, negative 2. C prime is negative 2, 1. We can see that the image is the same shape but a different size than the pre-image. So we can say it is similar to, but not congruent to, its pre-image. 
In this lesson, you have learned how to graph an image after a dilation by using coordinates.